This is not News 360. It is now time for a mission. And mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from Danida, UK Aid, and the EU. And our teenage girls at Nyan Country in the Sine East District of the Bono East region are urging political parties to invest in youth development programs. The youth, most of whom have dropped out of school, want political parties to make skills development a priority in their manifestos. Nyankwantri is located 8 kilometers from Kijiji, the Sydney East District capital. Most of the youth here are jobless, majority of whom are junior high school leavers and dropouts. Teenage pregnancy is common in the area. For these girls, Skills development is a viable option, but they do not have the tools and external support to learn. Poverty is high among all age groups in the community. That notwithstanding, a few individuals in the community are making a difference in the lives of the young girls. Malam Nanu Fuseni is one of them. With his non-spacious makeshift tailoring shop, he has trained many. Currently, he has 11 female apprentices who are at varying stages of completing their training. Malam Nanu Fuseini said his passion for setting up the sewing center was born out of the will to care teenage pregnancy in the community. Single mothers who want to improve their lives are also given an opportunity. Malam has acquired five sewing machines to support girls whose parents cannot afford to buy for them. A machine so there, my pebble machines. Girls who have availed themselves for training also have a lot to contend with. As the December polls draw near, the girls made a request to political parties. Like Malam Fuseni, however, is not the only person supporting school dropouts in the district. At Esioso, a woman has also volunteered to train some school dropouts to acquire skills in dressmaking. Although she also has challenges. She always prioritizes training for the girls. Malam and Tampuni say they can expand their shops to train more youth when offered some assistance. Your machines are the Ajumano. Machines are the Ajumano. Machines are the Ajumano. And now, can be scarce and Benya machines papa at trim. Now, some of the Ajumano could be a banana on your machine papa a bit my design designs. Womua and on Kaba boy and answer, sir. We are in a Sicano. But political party concentration on rural youth development have waned over the years. Sam Singh Lawe is the constituency chairman of the National Democratic Congress. This is how we can, that our youth do we the first people or the first sector the we shall look at at the senior east yeah 
influence them. I influence them that we shall take good care of them this time. Would you admit both government and the CNPP have killed the people of Sene East? That one, I agree. That will the party fail them. But so this time, when we come to back, come back to power, that problem will be solved. Uh, you know, it's like examination. When you go to exams and you fail, the second time, you learn and write well and pass and pass well. Have you learned your lessons? Of course. District Chief Executive for Sydney East, Benya Abraham, reacted to the concerns raised. A journey of thousand miles begins with a step. You cannot just achieve everything at a go. Ghana's future depends on the youth and it would be essential for political parties to make youth development and skills training a priority in their manifestos. And that's all for Mission this evening. Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks for watching.